Do you ever wonder what might be the easiest nail to do? The one that requires maybe the most or the least amount of skill? Pop it or the jelly tips? Let's compare them back to back to see which one might be the easiest. Let's get started. So let me explain what each of them are. First of all, we have a poppet. This is a poppet. It's also known as a dual form. And the reason why they call it that is because you can pop it off once the product is on. So you put the product inside here, you pop it on top of the nail. Once it cures, you can wiggle and pop it off. And therefore it leaves the form of a nail. Then there is a jelly tip. It's almost the same thing, except you put the product on the inside and then you put it on top of the nail and you let it cure and you leave the jelly tip on there. So those are the two types of nails that we'll compare. I specifically don't want to make this brand specific because we're not talking about brand. We're just talking about the type of nail. So then you can decide after you see which one goes down and how it goes down, which one you might want to try. Let's start with the puppet. Now, you don't want to buff the inside of this because you don't want it to adhere to the product that you're using and you want to be able to pop it off. So you want to keep this one nice and smooth. That's how you prepare the dual form. You have to size them first. Naturally, they're all different sizes you can choose from, but they're not going to fit you perfectly because you might have a different shaped cuticle, which I quite do. Mine is very much more of an oval-ish shape and these things tend to be a little bit more squarish on the cuticle area. This one looks like it might fit in there. Yep. And this looks like it's going to be a good fit for my index finger. And the reason why when you're fitting them, just so you know, you want to make sure that it fits from side to side. Don't leave any gap on either side because that's going to be too small. And you don't want it to overlap onto your skin because you don't want to adhere to the skin. This product is not meant for hitting the skin. So this one fits pretty good. Now you want to prepare the natural nails. You want to get yourself a good file. And in this case, I'm going to use a medium. I'm going to get my brush while I'm here. For both of those type of systems, the dual form and the, or the poppet and the jelly tip, you do prep the nail exactly the same way. And that is you are just taking a nice gentle medium file and you are prepping that natural nail. What you're essentially doing is gently buffing the surface of your natural nail now, if you're washing your hands, which is a fine thing to do, just don't use a soap with a lot of oils in it. Soap can have oils in it, so you don't dry your hands out, right? But um, you don't want to put any oil into the natural nail bed and hinder your adhesion. Okay? So just make sure you buff that up. And you can use a little round edge of this file. You can use the course of my set of files that I have. If you're going to do that, just do it very, very, very gently. And I'm going to prep both of these nails now because, like I say, both nails would be prepared the exact same way. Okay. Now I'm going to remove all the dust because products don't generally like dust. I'm going to work with a odorless acrylic so it sets a little slower so you have time to maneuver that onto the nail, especially if you're learning, an odorless is really a great advantage for that. I make sure I'm going to put a dehydrator down and then I'm going to use a primer. Now with these you don't need form because that's exactly what this is trying to avoid you doing is putting a form on. That's getting into whole sculpting and building. We're trying to avoid those extra skills that you may not have and get you to the point where you can sort of create a nail much, much quicker. Okay, so I've got a good brush and I'm going to pour a little bit of my odorless. And we just want a tiny little bit. We're only doing two nails. So you literally, I have a quarter teaspoon here and um, we won't even use that. 
Now, the only difference is the dual form and the jelly tip you can prepare a little bit different. The dual form, you don't have to do anything to it. We're just going to set that aside and he's ready to go. But the tip, the jelly tip, you do have to prepare that a little bit. So I'm going to take a file. You want to use a spongy file that comes in my set as well. Um, so you can get right inside and buff up that tip. Now, the only reason why we're doing that a little bit is because the tip is going to stay on there. Now, little side note, I have done these and I forgot to buff up all the jelly tips and I had no issues with lifting whatsoever. That's not going to be a standard because buffing them will ensure you won't have any lifting. But just as a side note, I actually didn't have any lifting and I completely forgot to buff them all. But if we buff it, it's going to ensure that we are going to be staying on there. So just doing little circular motions, I find that's very effective for inside these little vests. And I will dust it off again. Okay, so that tip is prepared. So let's do the dual form first. Now, when you're doing a dual form in particular, the poppet, um, they call it a form because it is actually forming the acrylic or hybrid gel or gel, whatever you're using, inside this form. That's basically what it is. They're just forming it inside there and you mold it to the nail and then you pop it off and it leaves a nail behind. So these little, oh, the little tab is missing on that side. Hang on, just let me get, here we go. See these little tabs they have on the side? That helps you wiggle it about to pop it off. Hence, that's why they call it pop it. Okay, so what I do notice though is that the cuticle is a little square for my finger. You don't have to do this whatsoever. It's just an optional. You're trying to custom fit these to your nails to make them, you know, the more you custom fit, the more they look like they belong on your finger and somebody actually designed them. But you don't have to do this step. But I'm just going to play with this a little and I'm just going to file up the corner just to try to soften that a little bit to make it look a little more natural that it's actually designed to fit me. So like when you're going to get your nails sculpted by somebody who has the expertise of sculpting acrylic or gel, whatever they're putting on, it's custom fit to you. So this is like going to a store and buying a uh, dress or a shirt or pants off the rack and you might have to maybe shorten them up a little bit and tailor the hem the length, right? That's the same type of thing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just sort of tailoring a little bit to fit a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just gonna measure it. That's much better. Okay, that fits a little bit better. So now what we wanna do is flip it over so it's got the scoop part and I'm gonna get a little bit of acrylic. I'm gonna use this color here so we can see it nicely and it somewhat matches that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it around though, the little tabs that I'm, those are gonna go in the end of the nail and I'm gonna turn it around so I have the cuticle facing outward because that's the part I'm gonna fill right now evenly. Just a little tip if you're using odorless very, 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 very little monomer comparison to the powder. You get your brush nice and wet, tap off quite a bit, and then hold into the powder to collect that bead. About five or six seconds, I find, is good. Okay, so I'm going to place that in there. And with odorless, you let it absorb for a little bit longer, a little few more seconds, and then you can start shaping inside here. Now I like the odor list for this kind of thing because it buys you a little more time as opposed to traditional faster setting stuff. Um, it just gives you time to be able to sculpt that nail. Now I notice when you do these, you do want to make sure you take it right to the side. You do want your product all the way to the side. And I'm going to do another little bead make sure I get the length that I want. Make sure it's all the way to the side. Okay. That looks, oh, no, this one's missing a bit on the side. I didn't see that. I'm gonna put a little bit more over here. Make sure I get it all the way over. Now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to press it into the cuticle and I'm just gently pushing it down onto my nail, just doing it where I feel like it fits quite comfortably. 
I think that's pretty good. I'll look at it sideways and make sure that it's, yep. Now if you want, if there's any oozing out the side, because it's gonna take a bit for you to get used to how much you need, you can just take a tiny little dry brush, take a dry brush, so you're not putting monomer on your skin. Just take a nice dry brush and scoop it if needed. And you're just gonna hold it until your acrylic cures up. And if you're using, you can use a hybrid gel, you can use a gel, whatever is your choice. Okay, so we're just gonna let that set up and then we can do the tip, the jelly tip. So the jelly tip is basically the same thing, except you'll be leaving the jelly tip on the finger. With the pop it, we're gonna pop it off. But the jelly tip, we're actually gonna leave it there. It's gonna be part of your finished nail. So you don't need as much of the acrylic or hypogel or gel, or whatever you're using, because it is part of the nail. So we are going to get a nice little bead. Looks like a pretty good size. And I'm just going to punch it down into the tip. I might need a tad bit more. This is trial and error, this part. You'll sort of play with this and figure out what might be best for how much you might need for your particular nail. Okay, so I'm just gonna start at the cuticle. And I'm just gently pressing toward my free edge. I'm gonna look sideways and make sure that that is coming down as far as I want, yeah. And I'm just gonna hold that for a little bit into the product, now, this is a slower setting, so it works into your advantage because it gives you time to create that bead inside. Because acrylic is one of the harder products to work with, but once you get it, it's amazing. So I just wanna hold that and make sure that it's very happy. Looks like I had the right amount because it's not squeezing out the sides. It's a pretty color, I like the color. Okay. Now if you're going to clean up, if there's any excess, just I'm just showing you the motion. There really isn't any, I'm just showing you the motion. Just do that with a dry brush, okay? Because you don't wanna take any product there. Okay, so I've got them both on there. Now the advantage with the jelly tip, I will say, is the shape is already made there for you. A lot of the companies that are making the jelly tip now, they have different shapes you can choose from. Almond and stilettos and squares and, and um, coffins, they're already built in. That is a huge advantage and I will tell you, as a, a professional nail tech, shaping is an art. So it's already done for you. That is a huge advantage for the jelly tip. Okay, so the dual tip here should be nice and dried, nice and cured. So you just squeeze it, you just squeeze the end, or the whole thing, and you can sort of find an edge and you can see that it's just sort of coming up and it just gently comes off, okay? There you go, it's done. But I will say, these do not come pre-shaped. That I'm, I'm familiar with. When, the time that I'm doing this video is to my knowledge, these dual forms poppets are not coming in different shapes. So that is one advantage of this jelly tip. It's already done for you. Both of them are very, very smooth. Just really smooth to touch. And that, again, is a huge advantage. You don't have to sculpt it. You don't have to deal with all the lumps and bumps. But that's, you know, learning how to sculpt. That's a whole other thing. That's what it's trying to avoid for you. So what you want to do is then the easiest way is to buff this nail, the dual form, already into a square because that's the shape that it is. Now, if you want to get jiggy and start doing some shapes, go for it. But let's just say we're going to pick it because it's the easiest. And I'm just going to square it off. Just make it nice. So the little bit of filing that you do want to do when you're doing a poppet is you want to go down the side because it might be a little bit rough. It might not, just depending on if anything squeezed out. And then you want to go down the other side. There'll be a tiny little bit. Now, the only thing that I really don't like these as much for is for as custom. I'm comparing it to custom because that's what I do. Is you really can't get the cuticle quite as flush, as smooth 
as somebody who's skilled because they're custom designing it. So with my nails in particular, you don't want it to go down too far this way. Like if I'm showing you sideways, you don't want to lean it this way because then the cuticle will pop up. And if the cuticle pops up, you have a ridge at the cuticle. But if you go down this way and you're pressing it down, it might be going down too high or too far. This is a curvy one. So that's that's actually very curved and that's not really the trend right now. Straighter is a little bit more desired, this kind of straight nail. See that kind of going straight? But that's the thing with the jelly tip. If my natural nail is a bit curvy and I bend it down a little bit, the cuticle again is going to pop up. If I make the cuticle, try to make it push it in there, try to make it as flush as I want, it might stick up the tip a little bit. So they don't custom fit perfectly, but I mean, it looks pretty good. I didn't have to do any of the sculpting. And if I didn't have the knowledge to do it, it, it looks pretty good. Now, I will say they will look decent right now because they're pushed right up to the cuticle. But when these grow out, and that's the thing with a, even a skilled nail technician that's learning, you really know how good the cuticles are about a week or so after it grows away from the cuticle. Then you get to see how smooth of a job you did it. So these can look pretty good bunched up to the cuticle right now. You know, they look pretty good. But when it grows out, you'll be able to see how ridgy it, it starts to appear, right? Because it's pulling away. So if you can see that and feel it now, you want to take a little file. It's just a smooth file. I'm using the medium right now. And this is where it takes a little bit of skill. So be careful because you don't want to cut your finger. You want to smooth out any cuticle that might have been not quite as smooth as you'd like it to be. But it's no big deal. You can just do this. Just watch your cuticle. You just want to go around ever so gently. Now, the idea is you don't want to go filing the top of it so much because it's pretty smooth. It's pretty perfect, right? That's what a sculpted nail technician is sculpting to achieve. That's the end result they're looking for. So it's already there, right? Okay. Looking pretty good. Okay, so the shape, I'm going to just square it up a little bit. I will leave it square just so we can tell which one is the dual form, the poppet, in comparison to the tip. So let's leave it square so in the um, the final photos we'll be able to tell which one is which. I'm just going to make this a nice kind of soft square. Okay, now I can just sort of feel the cuticle around the jelly tip, and that's feeling pretty good too. So I'm just going to gently buff around there make sure that it is nice and smooth and I'll check the sides and make sure it's pretty smooth there's nothing really going on there so so it's just telling me that I really had the right amount of product under there and again it doesn't matter what you're using acrylic or the hybrid gel or a gel I had the right amount so that's feeling pretty good now with this I don't have to do the shape on the end because uh, I might like that shape right and if I wanted the square or any of the other tips or shapes, I would have just chosen those ones. So this looks pretty good. I don't really have to do, I'm just taking that little tab part off the end there. Sometimes there's a little thing when they, the way they make them, there's little things on there. Okay, that's pretty good. So I will take a sponging file because I'm gonna put a gel coat on top of them. So they, like a gel color matching these. So they look nice. So you just don't change the shape. Now this is a buffer that just buffs it so that you can prepare it for a gel polish application. So I'm just gently buffing and I'm not changing the shape whatsoever. And I'll just buff over both of them. There we go. So now I'm just gonna polish them up. Now, if I was going to put nail polish on them, which you can do, you wanna take a smoothing file and smooth over the whole thing and then put your oil on, wash your hands, and then put some nail polish on. And in this case, I'll match this uh, gel polish with these two. I do wanna show you a big difference between the dual form and the jelly tip. If I turn these sideways, get a look at this. Now, why does sideways matter? Sideways matters because it tells you that the shape that it's doing. Let me move these back a little bit. See, look at this. This is a very natural looking shape, actually. That kind of nice, gentle arch. This is more of a trendy shape right now. And I don't know how long it's gonna stay in. It may stay in forever, but it's more straight. See that? Has a very, very straight look on it. Very pretty too. This is a very natural looking shape. That's the way we used to do them all the time. And now this is more straight. So the dual forms, and you can actually see it. See how the dual form is so curved? 
and then the tip are quite a bit straighter. So it's just a preference, neither here nor there. <laughs> No judgment or shade on either one. It's just a preference in the way that you might like the look. Some people like that very curvy look and some people like the very straight look. Okay. And let's check out the reveals. And you've got your poppet and you've got the jelly tip. Let's take a look. So you really wouldn't know by looking at these which one is the dual and which one is the jelly. You, you really can't tell, can you? I'm going to put a little bit. Other than the shape. Other than the shape. That's why I left it that way. <laughs> so you can see. Okay. So I do want to say that is there to remind me, to remind you when you subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications. I always want to tell you this color is gorgeous. I love it. It's by Beamy. It's N. 11, just in case you're interested. It's a new collection that they just put out. If you want to check out how to work with Odorless, I've got a great video to show you step-by-step and -step three excellent, three <laughs> excellent reasons why you should be using Odorless. Check it out.